everyone. You're with Business Bites for Business News Australia. We're here with Andy Fife from Chemistry. Andy, could you tell me a bit about what you guys do at Chemistry? Sure, I'd love to. So we are, I guess, a new model communications agency. We've, um, we've got a digital team in-house with coders and software engineers and ex experience architects. Uh, we've got a production team in-house with um, film directors and sound designers and uh, motion designers. And then we've got a creative agency of brand strategists and writers and art directors. So we, we gel all those things together um, to come up with creative, effective communications for yeah, all sorts of clients. And based on what you guys do, like your full service, as you just said, what do you see as the next frontier in marketing? Innovation, mm. buzzword, mm. hashtag <laughs> Disruption. Disruption, yes. Disruption. Look, we do love our shiny new objects and our hype cycles in marketing, but uh, it is an exciting time. Um, I guess there's several technologies we're really interested in at the moment, but, but we're, we're focused on virtual reality and immersive video at, the, at present because I guess um, we live for communications mediums, if that's the right word, and it's been a long time since we've had a new one. Um, really, I, I think the internet was the last genuinely new medium that marketers and communications practitioners had to work with. Uh, and then along comes this virtual reality world, which has completely different properties. Um, it, it affects the user in different ways, um, extremely powerful ways. And so, what do you do? You've got to work with that. You've got to explore and, and push the opportunities for brands and for all sorts of clients with that medium. We can't resist it. Do I need to be a gamer to, you know, take advantage of virtual reality or no. can all industries oh. capitalise on it? Look, yeah, you definitely don't need to be a gamer. Um, you look like a gamer. Gaming's fun. But, um, no, look, it it's, has got application in, in a remarkably diverse, actually, um, suite of, of industries. For instance, a lot of the early take up is in training and development because um, it's, it's a beautiful way to create a learning simulation for people, very immersive and convincing way. So um, if you want to uh, lift someone's performance, particularly if it's um, a difficult or dangerous environment, then, then do that in a virtual uh, experience, it's really effective. So certainly not just gaming, content from every angle um, is jumping in. The real estate industry, property industry, is very interested in as a way to sell spaces, I suppose. Um, it's, um, it's a great way to transport you to, to a different place and to, to let you explore a space without leaving your chair. So, um, yeah, there are lots of applications outside of gaming. Will it eventually kill travel or do you see travel companies or, you know, hoteliers taking, taking up virtual reality? Look, it's a good question. Actually, the, the travel and tourism segment is, has been one of the, the lead adopters in taking up the technology. Uh, whether it will cannibalise um, real-world travel, I don't think so. I, I think it is um, just a beautiful way to help people taste and explore a place and experience, um, but that will just lead you to want to wanna go there and actually live it, I think. Um, so. You know, Tourism Australia has deployed a lot of 360 video content. Um, it's a great way to um, go cage diving with great white sharks or to you know, stand on top of the Eiffel Tower at, at dusk and watch the lights of Paris come up. But I don't think it's powerful enough to stop you wanting to go there. I think it's powerful enough to make you want to go there. So, yeah. But, um, it's, yeah. Awesome stuff. I'd love to try the glasses sometime. <laughs> The goggles. The goggles. Oh, geez. I still don't know the terminology, but you're definitely you're on the cusp of you know something really great. So, yeah. Thank you so much. You're with Business Bites for Business News Australia.